Your skull got bumps. It's so. Check out this video. My mom going to tell you why it happens. Keep watching, friends. Hey, friends. Friends, I thought that since I showed you quite a few hairstyles that are tight on your little one's scalp, I should share with you what I do now to Sakura's scalp when I take out a tight hairstyle. And in researching this a little bit more uh, for this video, I realized I need to make some slight adjustments to her hair, her hair care that I'm going to tell you guys about. So what I've recently started doing was giving Sakura a nice scalp massage. Isn't she so lucky? I love scalp massages. But I grab some oil and I just give the edges a nice scalp massage. And for me, this is just when I put a tight hairstyle in her hair and I just need to relieve that scalp. And what brought me to this was that one day I noticed some bumps on Sakura's scalp. I probably had her hair up you know, a few days, like a like three days in a row, and I noticed some bumps on her scalp, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to check into this. I knew it wasn't good, and you know, after researching it a bit, I was like, oh my goodness, I need to take better care, and you know, and when I put ponytails and all that kind of stuff in it, and so I decided, you know what, if I'm going to put her hair up and it's tight, I'm going to make sure that I... Give her a nice little massage on the edges because I do not want her to grow up with no edges like mine are pretty bad because I've done a lot of pulling and all that kind of stuff growing up and I just damaged my hair but I don't want her to go through that so I'm going to take special care. So I know it looked like I was giving her like a fast hard scalp massage but I'm actually going nice and slow. I just slowed it down here for you guys a bit so you can see. So now this is the number one reason I massage her scalp after a tight hairstyle because of traction alopecia. Now I'm pretty sure that I have traction alopecia after researching this and looking at pictures. Actually, I'm, I know I do. And I definitely don't want my daughters to get that. So that's why after, you know, really looking into this, I'm like, oh my goodness, I, I, I don't want this to happen to them. And I definitely don't want you guys to be doing this to your daughter's hair. And I want you guys to know, you know, what you have to look out for. And, you know, that realize that, you know, these styles are cute. But, you know, we have to be sure that we're taking care of their scalp as well. Because we they, they still have a long life to live. So some other obvious reasons that can happen to her hair when we're pulling it too tight or always have it in the same style. Obviously damaged hair, her hair strands. Um, her front of her hairline can become thin and weak. She can have scalp pain. I mean, they're old enough to tell us that. And bumps on the scalp, just like I said what happened with Sakura. And obviously it will lead to hair loss. And honestly, I don't think that I really thought much about that. Like, I should know better, right? Shouldn't I? <laughs> But the tight hairstyles are just so cute. But I think that, you know, if we just are aware of this and we we take more care of their hair and the pulling and, you know, all that kind of stuff, I think they'll be fine. Um, I'm not worried so much anymore now that I know. So you've already seen a little bit of this in the beginning, but what I do is I take some coconut oil. Now you can take coconut oil or the aloe vera plant. You know, you just um, cut open the plant and you get that gel and you, oh my gosh, that's supposed to be amazing from what I read. And you can also, I mean, just whatever oil that you want. And you just, I set my timer for five minutes and I just put on a show actually, like we're watching something or we're listening to some music. And that's when I uh, massage her scalp. So like I said, I do this after I take out that tight hairstyle. And so it's really before she's going to bed. And I'm not going to put, put a protective style in it because I f feel like, you know, also protective styles are also pulling at the hair. And... I my concern will be just making sure that she has a pillowcase. Now, I'm not saying I'm not going to do protective styles anymore cuz I do totally believe in them, but if I have a really tight hairstyle in her hair that day, I'm not going to put one in at the night. I'm just going to let it go free. There's nothing wrong with that. Now, just deal with it in the morning, but I will just make sure she is sleeping on her satin pillowcase. 
And also I've decided that, you know, if I do a, a really tight hairstyle in her hair, then the next couple of days I will just have it in a nice out puffy, afro, flowy, beautiful cover girl hairstyle. And it was so cute after I did this hairstyle, Sakura went outside to play with a couple of her friends and they're two cute little blonde girls and they're like, they both just loved her hair. They're like, oh my gosh, I like your hair. And I thought that was just so cute. You know, I had to boost it up Sakura's confidence with her hair, right? So my friends, I'm still going to continue putting hairstyles in Sakura's hair. I'm just going to make sure that I take better care of her scalp when I do. And whatever, you know, products I do come up with to, you know, massage her scalp. Because I, right now I'm using the coconut oil. I hope it, I told you guys that. I, I do want to try that aloe vera gel, like the actual plant. I know you can buy gel in the stores, but I want to buy the actual plant because I think that would oh my gosh, have so many benefits when I researched it. And hey, if you guys use any sort of, you know, gel or product for your little one's hair when you massage it, please let us all know in the comments below. I would like to know what you guys are using because I might try that as well. So my friends, I hope you guys like this video. Please do not forget to like and subscribe if you are not subscribed. Bye friends.